In this video, I am testing out a battle between the Kat Von D translucent setting powder and the Hourglass translucent veil setting powder. Let's see which one wins. Five, four, three, two, one. Level up, 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 level more like it's more a shimmery powder i hope you guys can see but um this powder isn't as matte this powder is has a little bit of shimmer but when you set the face you, it's not like you just put highlight on your face like it blends into the skin but let me just swatch it for you guys let me kind of blend it and hopefully you can see in the camera it has this cool it's has this really cool like um like shimmery um look to it and so it's perfect for people with dry skin um it's not gonna like be matte and like drying it's gonna act like the skin's gonna look shimmery and highlighted but if you have oily skin you could totally like set with this too next we have the cap on d powder i've never used this Ooh, it's really soft softer than the hourglass so that's interesting but i believe this is more like um more like a matte powder oh, yeah it blends right into the skin um doesn't seem to have a tint to it. The hourglass has kind of like a yellowish tint, but it'll like blend away. But this really dissolves into the skin. I'm impressed. It looks, it doesn't really have any shimmer. It doesn't look matte. So it might be a semi-matte. Hourglass is going to be on the left side. The Kat Von D on the right side. Let's get started. So I actually wanted to show you the pro um, products before I apply them. I uh, went in with first the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. Um, which has SPF in it. I just wanted to see like what the combination would be with the Tatcha But I did mostly this on my whole face and then this and the t-zone and stuff where my pores and lines are Just to see what happens foundation and concealer. You guys see me talk about this in my la uh, my foundation video I think we're going in with the NARS Lateral Lo radiant long wear uh, foundation and the Tarte shape tape so I have my foundation on and looking so beat. I really built the cover. But um, I'm blending my concealer. Um, Because after I blend my concealer, I want to set it. It'll be fine once we set it. But I wanted to show you guys because after I set, I made it. Or after I blend my concealer, I immediately want to set it. So I'm going to first go in with Kat Von D because I've never used it. I'm going to go into the Kat Von D. I'm so excited because, um, <gasps> oof, way too much. I'm going with the Kat Von D on the right side. I don't like to bake. Sometimes if I feel it, but I just like to go with a lot of powder and just press it into the skin. Okay, so I don't know if it's just like the, I had some concealer stuck, but I don't know if you can see, but it could just be the sponge. But it looks like it almost got like picked up. My foundation. I'm gonna be using quite a bit of tools, but I'm gonna take this Sephora brush and then get some more powder and just tap it. So that's the under eye set. So let's set the other side with the hourglass. I like this packaging, and these are mini versions. I actually got the Kat Von D for like a gift, a birthday gift uh, from Sephora. But um, okay, I just want to use the same brush. I'm just gonna rub it on my um arm any of the excess and then I'll go into the hourglass powders whoa don't you get cakey in the inner corner okay here's my under eye set don't mind my forehead once again so the hourglass definitely um has a sheen I could see that it has a sheen uh, right when it went on. So the cap on D. Um, does it really have a sheen? Could you say me? Yeah, I can kind of tell because I can kind of see some concealer that went wonky, but um, it's like shimmers. It's like shimmery. This side's more like m smooth, kind of matte. But it doesn't look bad at all. Honestly, it's kind of hard to tell. I'm just gonna blend my forehead. And then I'm actually gonna use a powder puff. All right, so I'm getting my Patrick Star powder puff. I'm just gonna go first on my forehead because it's creasing a shit ton. 
and then the rest on my face. Also, I have to be careful because since I got my wisdoms out, um, it kind of hurts to tap, so I have to be careful. Trying to be careful to go like halfway. What I can also tell, because I have tried the hourglass, um, and what I can tell is that, um, it does, um, it's really lightweight, and if you have dry skin, it really just like smooths that over. But so far, it's setting really nice. Like, that looks so good. Now, I'm gonna kind of put, I'm gonna tap this on like a blanket just to get any excess of the hourglass powder off so we can actually like, so it doesn't interfere with the Kat Von D powder. Oh yeah, and I have my makeup on my floor because I don't have anywhere else to put it. Oof. So now I'm gonna go the rest of the side. On the other side, I mean. Both sides are set with the Hourglass and the Kat Von D. I'm just going to let you guys like, kind of peer. Do you guys see a difference? It's kind of hard to tell with the lighting. Looking close up, I feel like if you guys can see right here where the Kat Von D is, it kind of looks like I get like... It, um kind of dryness around the pimples and it could just be the powder puff too but where like it's not doing the same over here where the hourglass was like and i don't really like that look of like the dry spot hopefully you guys can see i don't know if you can but like right here there's like a ring around it and the ring is like dryness yeah i feel like the cat on d side looks drier a bit more drier with the hourglass nothing really looks like like that, like it doesn't have a ring. My spots don't have a ring. Like my pimples don't have a ring around it. Um, and if they do, it's not as bad. Where I also have a problem area right here. And I feel like the hourglass also smooths my smile lines better. As for my pores, surprisingly, I think the hourglass blurred my pores more than the Kat Von D. Like I have more pores right here. It's really interesting. So, so far, guys, between the two powders, I really like, um, I'm liking the Hourglass better than, um, the Kevlon D so far. And I did pair the Hourglass between the Maybelline powder. Let me know if you guys want to see Hourglass between Maybelline and versus Drugstore, because I really like the Maybelline. I feel like that wins. But between these two powders, the Hourglass is definitely winning. So, I'm going to quickly show you guys, um, the, my cheeks and stuff, my, uh, cheek makeup. And then um, I'll have uh, check-ins based on the time. So stay tuned. So to bronze up the skin, I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Contour Kit, which I already told you guys this, but I got this at TG Maxx with this Ulta Beauty brush. Now, the story behind this brush and some other products I have is that at the prom dress place I told you guys in the previous video, I got a free prom dress and accessory. They actually, like, they give you prizes. Um... Like, you could win prizes if they pulled your number. And I got a prize. So I got, like, a Philosophy, um, the brand Philosophy um, Luminous Body Cream. I haven't used it yet, but it's going to look so good. My body, I think, is just going to shine. Like, I won that, and I won some more makeup, including this brush. And I'm so excited because I needed a new um, bronzer brush because the e.l.f. just takes off my foundation. This is perfect because it's, this brush isn't, like, dense at all. And I'm just mixing the three con uh bronzer shades as you guys saw but this just um bronzes really nice and it's supposed to be for blush but i use it for contour because it really sculpts but yeah so i won makeup and brushes um in that body cream uh the prom place i told you guys in the last video looks so good but sometimes i do get patchy for some reason either if i didn't set good or stuff but i'm not getting patchy yet which is good oh but i've been watching rupaul's drag ways by the time you guys seen this video i think i'm gonna be done but um, with the ser the um, this season, season four, All Stars, but it's so good. I just love the transformation. They all are stunning. But um, for my under eyes, I just realized it seems like the hourglass is creasing more on uh, under eyes. But I found the perfect way to nose contour. I have this like brush, it's almost like an angled brush, but it fits perfectly for my nose, guys. And I've been getting a perfect nose contour.
right guys so we have the face done everything blended beautifully i feel like this side on my forehead i'm creasing more and it just looks better on that hourglass side um i'm gonna finish up my face and then i'll see you guys um at our first check-in hello everyone i'm in the bathroom so i've eaten at lunch um and i uh, for my wisdom teeth since i got them removed i've had to um like switch like uh salt water so this is how the face is doing so far what i can tell is that um the pores as i said previously look more like filled in or like veiled on the hourglass side forehead looks good um and the other side still dry basically it looks the same when i initially put off so that's good except on the chin both sides came off but because like i had to do salt water and stuff um, but both look still really good. Look how they did before. One thing I kind of noticed is the cap on D might have more coverage, but it looks more dry and stuff. So this is our first check-in about four and a half hours. Well, no, about four hours um, after the initial use of the products. Stay tuned for a second check-in. Hey, queens. How are ya? We are at like the eight, almost nine hour, eight and a half-ish mark of having this face on. So, the differences are my nose has worn off a little bit. Um, let me flip off one more light to really see. I'm going to turn orange in a second. Ooh, look at this mascara flakes. Ooh. A lot has worn off on my chin. As still, the pores look more worse on this side than this side. The hourglass has stayed on really good. My blush contour is still there good while on the other side. I don't really see blush, I only see like the bronzer. So my forehead, this trouble area is always, this area right here is always um, trouble for me. It's right here, uh, it's where it comes off. It looks like the Kat Von D, it doesn't look bad, but it kind of still came off right there, but normally it comes off more right here, but the hourglass looks so good. Like look at my skin up close. Like, it just still looks smooth and veiled. And this side is just, I don't know, it's okay, but it's not in the best condition. If I had to pick a winner, I would say the Hourglass won. Now, comment down below if you guys want to see me try out the Hourglass versus the Maybelline. And yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video. And if you think someone else would like my channel um, or who just likes makeup, make sure you point them to my channel as well and tell them to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Yes, Henty, I did have an outfit change.